All right, boys, welcome back to the Black Clover Mower video. LR and more importantly, UR accessories are very, very hard to get and even to level up as well, right? But when you get them, they look very nice as well, but they're going to give you a massive, massive stat buff in comparison. You can see right now, this is going to give me crit damage at 9.1%, where the SR one only gives 2.8, right? So these can scale a lot higher. And ideally, you want to try and get, obviously, LR, UR, more importantly, because that's kind of the middle ground where everyone can, like get good stats and actually reliably get them as well so today we're going to go over how i got lr and a bunch of urs as well and the best way to farm it and also get them entirely right so let's probably start off with i'd say kind of the, not an accessible one but one that's going to give you a guaranteed lr and this is where you can get one guaranteed because the other ways we're going to showcase later on are more like random chance and you could do it a bunch of times but it's all rng so uh the current guild bosses if you defeat them, I think you get 30, 20, and 10, depending on which one you do defeat. Obviously, the blue one is by far the easiest because you can bring literally just this team right here and easily farm it. You get around, what, 90 a day. And if you actually farm it enough times in a week, bear in mind, this lasts nine days still. I think it lasted two weeks. So you have, I think, how much can you get? You have literally 1,000. And in the shop, you can go there and buy a guarantee LR obviously it's, it's random but still just getting lr itself is obviously very very nice it's random but you can be obviously anyone and uh yeah that's probably the best way i think you can get them especially for free to play in a way because uh you can get guaranteed every single time the guild boss comes out also it's a good way to buy the upgrade accessories because to be fair leveling up the actual accessories themselves are actually very hard to be fair so you can buy those you can also get ur too if the guild boss is about to leave then sure you might as well buy one and to be fair, getting URs are actually still not a bad thing to do. Because what's important is, to be fair, the slob stats. While, yes, they give a main stat by a lot. I mean, 9% is a lot. But you can see right here, I mean, I got quite lucky that I did get some magic attack on this one, for example. But if I go to my Radis one, you can see this LR one right here. Sure, we're getting a lot of defense. But you can see the, the UR one... It's half of it. It's, it's not a massive downgrade. But this one, for example, has magic attack. And for Radish, what's more important is obviously getting a lot of magic attack for his barrier. Don't really care too much about defense. So it actually is better, I think, for me, especially if I level this one up here, to probably use this one than, obviously, uh, the LR one. Because this had attack, which I don't need. Once again, it's all situational. And uh, getting UR is still perfectly fine, especially since they're kind of easy to get. And you can get a few of them. And you can see right now, I have like two of the exact same one here. But because I've got a magic attack one, I can say, hey, I want to level up this one. Where this LR one, it's not really got good stats. I'm going to level up anyway because the only LR I got. But this is going to be safe for someone better. Uh, maybe like Mars, for example, who use actually base of attack. The next way to get LR equipment is during the actual limited challenges. Each day, they do rotate. Uh, right now, obviously, we do have the... The, the carved stone sets, but you've seen them. I think they happen on the weekend. I'm not actually too sure when they show up. But they're normally around for two days at a time. And uh, that is where you can get LR equipment by defeating it. I know, I think literally my first run on like the hardest difficulty. That's where I got this LR equipment for the first time. So uh, I think I've gotten two uh, from the actual drops here. And you can see so far I've gotten three in total. So, uh, yeah, I'd say it's probably one of the best ways to get it, uh, just because uh, the chance seems to be more better. But I've gotten two of the drops so far in about a month's time, so uh, not the greatest rate, but uh, hey, it's it, they do drop. And, of course, the next way is to design them. Now, this is uh, where it, it comes really, really expensive. So, you can see right now, if I was to put in, let me just find some ones I don't want, a bunch of these ones, it is a 5% chance, but... With this feature, you can spend one of your shared major pieces to actually choose the one you want. So, if I really want an attacker one, this is what I would do, for example, to try and obviously get it and use one shared major piece. You can also use these orange stones, which you can find a bunch of places, uh, which will actually increase the odds. Uh, not by a lot. You can get upwards of 10%, which, to be fair, it, it makes a big difference. But doing this way, you can guarantee, obviously, an attacker, and you can also use a shared major piece and this is where i would probably do it honestly i know it's expensive but just getting that guaranteed you are accessory for attacker is uh something i obviously re very much need you could risk it and do the full set where it could be literally anything once again it's the exact same rate five percent you can increase it with the orange stones but it could be anything if you actually do get a lot if you get lucky enough to get an lr five percent if it happens to be for a healer 
I don't really care because I'm not really using healers on my team. I'm using defenders. I'm using attackers. So while yes, it does cost obviously one share mage piece, doing this way at least I can guarantee it a ring and I can also guarantee it for an attacker. It may not be LR, but at least it'll be UR and that's definitely more important. And like I said already, URs are definitely still very good. Uh, so right now I need, who do I want? I'm, I'm obviously using a well. We already got a pretty decent attacker one. So I need, what is this? A necklace and also a ring. Go towards obviously dying accessories. We want a necklace, so we're gonna click the second option here because we're not gonna risk the RNG here. And then uh, we're gonna trade off my LR gear. Obviously, you have to get LR gear to do it. You can trade in obviously a bunch of you are, and you are still perfectly fine. For you are, we'll give you a 25% chance to get you are, obviously 0% chance to get LR. Really, really wouldn't recommend doing it this way because the chance to get you are is still very low, and honestly. Using a shared mage piece on this is definitely not worth it. It's actually more worth it to go towards the full set and doing the full UR here and running the risk of doing it. Right now, we didn't get a, obviously a UR there, which means if I tried doing it on the last one, we would have wasted a shared mage piece. So definitely not worth it. Also, doing full SSR as well gives you a 5% chance to get UR. This is what I've been doing when I have a bunch of SSR that I don't want to use. It's uh, still very rare, but like still getting a UR one, even at 5%, when you have a bunch of SSR gear that you want to get rid of, it's uh, sometimes worth doing. But yeah, going to design necklace, like I said, we want to try and get one for Noel. Uh, I don't care about these speed sets because they're not the upgraded version. All right, so yeah, we've designed a necklace here. We're doing for attacker because I want it to go towards my Noel. Going to use one shared major piece. Wouldn't do this too often, to be fair. I, I think um, I'll probably do it like maybe once a month. Bear in mind, shared major pieces, you don't need that many. Uh, because I can, I'm going to use this right here to try and obviously risk run the chance of getting an LR. So let's see, we're praying. We, we want to hopefully get an attacker. I mean, I still don't mind if I get UR because I, I need URs. I'm still using SSRs. But we got... Okay, we didn't get an actual... Um... The LR, but it's still, once again, you are still fine. And now going over to my Noel, we have um, crit resistance. It's not bad. Uh, I think for necklaces, I'd definitely rather defense. And the main stat is defense. Once again, we kind of want to get magic attack as much as possible for Noel. So uh, not the great one. Once again, I'll use it for now because why not? I mean, we'll upgrade it for now. Let's see, let's see if we can get uh, to unlock four. Okay, crit resistance. Yeah, definitely not good. So this set right now, probably a bit dead. I wouldn't invest too much into it now. So I'm going to leave that alone. But yeah, definitely don't worry about spending some shared mage pieces. Don't go too crazy. I wouldn't go down to zero. Like I said, I only use one there. I might do another one later on in a few uh, days' time. But uh, generally, even if you're free to play, you should be able to max out every single character SSR you get for free. Uh, once again, I've once again, I spent money in the game, but I haven't spent money to buy shared mage pieces. But uh, you can see right now, I've got all my SSRs that are literally important. Even right now, I uh, don't need Asta, don't need Leopold. If I want to, I could literally yeah, max out my Nozelle. And to be fair, if I level them up more, uh, I can actually get one more. I can get two more from, obviously, uh, the Leo. I can get two more from Asta as well. So, shared mage pieces, you get so many, you can spend them. So, don't feel too bad about doing it. All right, so uh, yeah, we're doing the, for the ring this time. Obviously, we did the necklace. We already have the bracelet, I think it is. So what we're praying for a ring right now. Uh, five percent chance, I doubt it. But the first time I did this, I actually did get LR, so I was quite lucky. But this time we got... Okay, um, crit rate's not bad. Actually, pretty good for Noel. But the defense is uh, yeah, it's not great. So let me level that up a little bit. And we got crit resistance again. <laughs> what the hell? I mean, I guess I'm not going to get critted now, but... Yeah, not great uh, defense and yeah, def just just not good uh, substats. You want to get magic attack. I um, mean, you know, defense might be all right when I get Black Asta because Black Asta scales off defense a little bit. So uh, I guess it's not completely useless. But yeah, like I said, I wouldn't do the specific one too often. Uh, right now, I've already done two. So I kind of want to save my shared mage pieces for later on. So if I happen to get more useless LR gear, then I will go in towards the full set and run the risk of doing it, of course. If you want to know where to get the actual orange stones, you can only really buy them free to play, at least in the actual uh, guild boss shop. When the Blu-ray boss does come around, so right now we can get some. I probably should have bought these, not going to lie, uh, before I did the actual uh, gear because I could increase the race a little bit more there. But yeah, boys, that is the way to get LR and UR accessories, the best way to do it. Definitely not that hard, but you do have to farm for a bit. And uh, to try and get one you actually want with good stuff stats, it's going to take a minute. So uh, it's just part of the end game. That is literally the end game, just grinding gear, basically try and get as much as possible. Cannot stress enough, when they do return the accessory event for the limited challenges for like two days, make sure to do them because like I said, I've gotten two LR from that missions already. And it's so far been the best way that I've gotten LR gear. I did get some, by doing the Vanessa trade, but such 
such a low rate, it's so lucky. And when you're trying to get LR gear for your whole team, it's uh, too much RNG. So make sure while you can now, get to farming this raid boss. Once again, this video's gone out. Uh, I, pr I think it might be still out. I'm not too sure because the video's gone up later than when I'm recording because I'm literally in Japan right now. Big up. But uh, yeah, I'm going to make sure I'm going to get farming to this right now. So yeah, I'm going to get grinding. You can only buy one a month, so it's something very limiting, but at least it's guaranteed and this raid boss doesn't come back too often, so it's not like you can farm it infinitely. And uh, also, to get a UR one too, once again, I told you before, it's uh, still good. If you get a good UR with good substats, it might even be better than an LR with bad substats so uh boy thank you for watching the video let me know if it helped out and uh let me know if you've managed to get any lr accessories so far i think it does take the same amount of resources as the actual normal gear uh substat change but uh yeah just getting the lr just getting the lr goes important so you can just reroll it so boys thank you for watching the video and uh yeah peace